Olivia Jade and Isabella Rose continue to struggle as the admission scandal continues on. Michael Avenatti is arrested for fraud. Plus, are Olivia and Isabella still enrolled at USC? Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life, starting with Michael Avenatti. The well-known celebrity lawyer is in some really hot water right now, facing up to 47 years in prison in a New York case for a alleged 25 million extortion scheme against Nike, and 50 years in a California case for wire and bank fraud charges. Michael was released on a $300,000 bond and publicly predicted he will be fully exonerated. TMZ reports Michael Avenatti's new legal troubles could affect the case against R. Kelly. Avenatti represents several of Kelly's alleged victims and their family members. Kelly's attorney, Steve Greenberg, told the site Avenatti's credibility is now a centerpiece in the case. Greenberg now questions how Cook County could have gotten a hold of the sex tape that many believe to be the smoking gun against Kelly and suggested that the tape could have been altered before it got to prosecutors. What a mess. Let's switch gears and check in on the college admission scandal. Starting with Lori Loughlin, because over the weekend, her Fuller House co-stars took the stage to accept the Kids' Choice Awards for Favorite Funny TV Show. Even though Lori wasn't mentioned by name, fans think that the cast was commenting on her situation during their acceptance speech. Candace Cameron Bure spoke about a family sticking together no matter what and said they stick together through the hard times, they support each other, they encourage one another, they pray for each other, and they stand by their side no matter how tough it it gets. I don't want to read too much into their statement because it could have just been a message for the kids watching that they should put their family first. If they ended the speech by screaming hashtag free Aunt Becky, that would be a different story. But I'd also like to note that the KCAs took place on USC's campus. But okay, from Aunt Becky to cousin Olivia and Isabella, contrary to reports from other outlets, USA Today is reporting Olivia Jade and her sister Isabella are actually still enrolled at USC. According to the site, they received a statement from USC's communications department reportedly confirming their enrollment and reiterating the university is conducting a case-by-case -case review for the students connected to the scheme. But enrolled or not, the sisters don't plan on returning, as we previously reported. Both girls are worried about the backlash and bullying they'd endure on campus and are more focused on what's going to happen with their parents. Olivia and Isabella could also face a ban from the USC campus, something Olivia may not be too worried about because she's more terrified of ending up in jail. Olivia Jade's upset with her family for putting her through this and can't help but blame her parents for getting her into this mess. We're also hearing Olivia has been an emotional wreck all week. She's been hiding at home, too embarrassed to go out anywhere in public, and can't wait for this all to be over. But all right, guys, hit that sub, like, and bell button Stick with us for all the latest in this case and follow me on social media at Ali Stagnita. Bye, guys.